What up everybody, it's Sonic and Animations. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to make VeggieTales animations using Blender. If you don't know what Blender is, it's a 3D animating software and a video editing software. Anyways, without further ado, let's begin. To download Blender, go to blender.org slash download, download Blender. And once this pops up, give it a minute or two. Alright, it's finished. Tap the thing. And wait for this thing, I guess. Alright, now this pop this thing popped up, press next. Accept the terms. Next, um keep pressing next when you install it. Alright, now when that's done, press finish and open up Blender. And boom, you got it. Now it's time to download models. The models I suggest using is Seema Flip because his models are really good. To download the model back, you gotta press the um, ultimate Vegetal model pack, you press download, and then yeah. The model pack will be down in the description. Now it's time to get started with animating. Alright, so now that you open up the ultimate Vegetal model pack, you go to character original. I don't know why it's called that. And then you're gonna go and select whatever you want. So I'm gonna go and select Larry the Cucumber, and I'm gonna do this one. Now, as you can see, um, the um, textures on here are messed up. So we're going to go to the um, material properties. I'm going to press this file thing right here. And then you go to the thing, you go to the Larry's, you go to the file. And then you go to Larry's body. And bazinga, we got it. So, you, so you're going to press on these um, things right here. You're going to go to post mode. And then, and then, um, hold on, let me select these things right here and then um, if you go select this thing and move this around then you move the body I'm gonna press insert keyframe and go to location rotation and scale press that and then we're gonna go to keyframe 10 we move this then um, insert keyframe again and then you move the character which is really good if you press G, you can actually move this thing without using these, this thing right here. And if you press R, you can rotate him over. If you press R twice, then you'll be able to do this. So, I picked Bob the Tomato, so, yeah. I'm going to make a quick animation just to show you guys on how to do this. So, if you go to video editing, go here. You change this to 3D viewport, and then split this over then you'll be able to play the video and animate at the same time and that's exactly what I'm going to do so so here I have an audio of Heavy from TF2 we lose but they do not win so yeah I'm going to be animating that with Bob the Tomato right here so what we're going to do is that um we're going to um if you want the scene to be long to make the scene shorter you go to and, and then you put um, any number that has um, what's that right there. So here's what it sounds like again. We lose, but they do not win. We lose, but they do not win. So now um, we got that over, so yeah. All right, so we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna add a camera, so you're gonna press shift, shift. We're gonna press shift A, and then we go to camera, and then you press this camera icon and then if you go down to view and go to camera to view you can move it I am guessing cause, yeah you can move the camera with the scroll button and here we have um, that so now that we got this there if you go down now we also have the viewport shading but so far there's no shading so I'm gonna go and import them import it. 
All right, so I imported, important, imported, imported the uh, lighting. So now we can see Bob the tomato right here. So, so now um, we're gonna go to post mode and we're gonna move the um, thing. We're gonna move Bob's uh, body. And now you can't really hear the audio when you move it, so we're gonna go to. So now. We have the audio here, but so far when you move it, you won't be able to hear it. So we're going to go to playback, press scrubbing, and sync to audio. So now it's... I'm sorry about that. Let's just go back to Warrior. So now I'm going to move Bob the Tomato. Also, if you screw up when you're doing something, if you can't really go back to this, press right click and everything will go back to normal. So we're gonna, I'm gonna animate Bob real quick and then, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm back and I have Bob the Tomato moving. This is what it looks like. We lose, but they do not win! So we have that in here. Now, if you press um, this right here, then you won't be able to see the lines in the viewport. We lose, but they do not win. Now, now we're gonna do the lip sync. Now, the lip sync is pretty complicated. So here's what I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna go back to layout, and I'm gonna go look for Mal. And we're gonna press this so that way you'll be able to you can see it. And then once you have the once you grab the thing, you'll see that the shape keys has so many words. So if you click this over to a hundred, a thousand, and you should be able to see that the mouth are moving. So that's a good thing, I guess. <laughs> so if you press um if you press if you right click and then you press insert keyframe and then you do this. <laughs> and then you press it again and then <laughs> <laughs> we you, you can see that the mouth are moving. We lose. Moving. So I'm gonna delete that for some reason, and then I'm gonna use it. With this. So you're gonna right click, press insert keyframe, then um, go to a thousand, right click again, insert keyframe, and then you can see that the mouth is moving. <laughs> Try this again with another um, shape key. So we're gonna go on the E, double E. <laughs> then, um, I think we <laughs> so if you when you do the um, <laughs> if um the character is talking, so if he says we lose, we have to like use the thing that says that. <laughs> That's really funny. Don't even know. All right. Um. So. <laughs> Now we're gonna go to the S and it says there's an S at the end loose. So we, we lose! So now that we made it say we lose, so here's the preview. We lose! So now we got that. We lose! We lose! Now when we go to five, there's gonna be a thing called uh, uh, but, uh, so yeah. Try matching the words with the um, lipstick, if you can. <laughs> now, A, ah, so if you go to here, it says they, a, so if you're like saying hi, I, yo, fast, like something that starts with an A, you can use this thing. So I'm gonna try and say. <laughs> so I'm gonna do so. 
I'm gonna do this the rest of the way. So let me finish this lip sync and then we should be good to go to the move on. <laughs> All right, so I finished up with the lip syncing. The lip sync. We lose, but they do not win. So we got that. <laughs> so now we're gonna do the eyes. Ooh, the rest of the stuff. Now, if you go to the eyes and you press rotate and press it again, then you can do this. If you press shift and hold it again, this will happen. Now, if you go to here and then you press individual origins, then the, the thing, the eyes will stay there and the pupils will be able to move. So I'm gonna do this too. So now also if we go to the post mode and press these things, we can actually move the eyes and change the expression. So this is also the, um, the eye add-on. So like, it's pretty advanced. So I'm gonna move Bob. We lose, but they do not win. So now that we finished with that, now we're gonna review this in the um, display render. We lose, but they do not win. Also, the blinking thing is really important when it comes to animations. So we're gonna go to, um, back to here. All right, anyways, we're gonna go to blink. Go down to, um, 700. And yeah, I pretty much, yeah, and I finished up with the animation, so let's just look at it, let's preview it. We lose! But they do not win! We, we did it. Alright. So that is the animation. Now we're not done just yet. We're pretty much are getting started. Now it's time to render your animation. This means you can um, export your animations. And then you can review it in, in this. So we're gonna press the camera. No. Go to layout. And then um, go to um, output properties. Change this to FFM. PEG video, and then if you want to hear, if you're if you're adding sound effects in here, go to audio, um, codec, codec, and then change it to MP3, and then um, you're gonna output out, you're gonna put this in your file to render your animation, and I'm gonna name this We Lose, and then um, once we once we got that, um, make sure your camera's in the viewport because. Without it, then you won't be able to render it. So we render the animation, and there we go. And we finished it. So now we go to the um, file where we saved it, and then um, go to, and then go to the file where you saved your um, animation, and there you have it. We lose, but they do not win. And there you go. You finished your animation. So now what we're going to do next is we're going to do some stuff that are outside of animation. So the first one was we're going to add clothing onto a, sh on a person. So if we go to um, we'll add the black sweater, drag it over here, press a pen. I think that's how you say it. Um, we're going to go to object, press circle, select everything except for the sound and camera. So you add it onto the character and then now you may think, are you finished? No, because if you do this then it will still the clothes will we're gonna go to lattice, lattice. I think. I think that's how you say it. Now I'm gonna press the clothing, hold shift, press the lattice, and then we're gonna press Control P, and then go to lattice deform, and then you got the clothing on the character. It can also be moved, so that's good, I guess. All right. Now what we're gonna do is a hopping animation. So I have a Jimmy Gore model, and then, all right, so now um, pull up the playback, and then um, pre insert keyframe to um, L, R, S, 
and then go five. Move your character to where you want it to be, and then do that again, and then go ten keyframes over it again, and then put this on the ground, and it should look like this. Now we're gonna get to the um the um body movement. So actually, hold on. Let me just move this over um, ten, and then now we're gonna get to the body movement. So. Go to pose and then we're gonna insert keyframe again. This time I'm um, gonna get your character to go down. Go um, this way. Go up. And then um, follow the movements I have right now. Alright, and that's how you make a hopping animation. Get rid of the lines over here, and boom. That's, that is how you make a hopping animation. And that, my friends, are the basics of making VeggieTales animations. I will make more tutorials in the future, though. If you need more tutorials, then I would suggest you to check out Ghostbuster Jeffrey's second channel. Link is in the description. If you still need some help, comment below. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Cue the outro, please. No, shit. Oh, fuck. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Okay, I don't know what that was, but like I said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.